declaration of Jesus Christ and that authority that is given. And guess what? And God gets the glory. Hallelujah. It's about the glory of God being revealed in us. Amen. The Bible said the present thing that you and I encounter is no comparison to the glory of God that shall be revealed. Amen. So then not only are we walking in the liberated Christ, but the glory of God is being revealed. Hallelujah. And when God's glory is being revealed, oh, it pleases God. So when we use our authority right, God gets pleased. He gets happy with you and I. Amen. So listen, don't set up and don't say anything when you see and you know and you know that it's attack. It's not like we don't know that we're going through something. We all know what it is. Amen. We all know that we're going through something or we'll say stuff like, I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know. I haven't done anything and I don't know why they're acting this way. Well, honey, it's all a spirit. Amen. But God is saying According to the word, and Peter is teaching the word in that first, in that, in that first Peter, that first chapter in verse 13, he's teaching and he's saying, hey, you have the revelation knowledge by grace in Christ Jesus. And so that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do, saints. We got to pick up our authority and we got to use our authority. Amen. So we just don't, we just don't see stuff and then just be quiet. No, no, no. And you don't let it fester. Amen. To the point that it's going to get all up in your mind to the point that the devil begins to term, torment you and he'll torment you to the point that you can't rest. Amen. You can't sleep and you're agitated. Amen. And you don't know what to do when you feel like I'm, I don't understand this and I feel hopeless and I feel that I'm at a loss. Well, I'm here to tell you, we declare and we decree you're not at a loss. Amen. Not according to the word that we just heard. Amen. The word says to gird up your mind. Gird up the loins of your mind. Hallelujah. And as I said, to gird it up means to take on that power and that authority in the name of Jesus and begin to use those weapons that has already been given. The provisions are already provided, but it's up to you and I. It's up to us, you and I. We got to be the ones to pick it up. We have the power to call it out and subdue it. Amen. In the name of Jesus.